Oh, we already know what this video is going to be called. It's going to be called Finding the Last Joker Teeth. Uh, which, you know, I did record a different video, uh, but I haven't found it yet. So we're just going to say, hey, let's get that video and make it this video. I don't think it would be all the way at the top where the uh, Harley Quinn box is. There it is. Yeah. Got all the teeth. Nice. For some reason I didn't get the uh, trophies yet for it, but hey. Oh, there they are. There we go. There are the trophies for it. Alright, so we got all the teeth, all the balloons, and all the, uh, excuse me, all the Jack in the Boxes by Harley. So, nice. Alright. Uh, that would be it for this uh, DLC, except for beating up a few thugs. So we're going to go ahead and exit. Save less than a minute ago. Uh, so let's talk about this. It was definitely longer than Harley Quinn's uh, Harley Quinn story pack. Uh, sadly, that wasn't as long as I wanted it to be. Like I wanted it to be like gameplay longer. You know, I thought that would have been a little bit better. Maybe there would be like some kind of future DLC for that. I know there would be the Red Hood coming out um, next uh, next month. I think they said uh, maybe two weeks. I don't, I'm not too sure exactly, but you know, it's coming out whenever it does, and I'm so excited for that. I get to play as Red Hood a little bit. Jason Todd, of course, and um, hopefully um, it'll answer some questions about my prediction video from last week. Um, somebody did mention it was an aftermath uh, story, which kind of intervenes with what I said, but I still am behind what I said in that video. But anyway, let's talk about this DLC. I, I think it was much better uh, than Harley Quinn's story pack. I loved how they uh, dressed Harley in the old fashion, and you know, it's kind of a setup to Arkham Asylum for her, you know, how she got to Arkham Asylum before Joker. And why they didn't write the same time because they were usually together all the time. Um, so it kind of sets up her path, you know, like this was like before um, the asylum, of course, and this is when Joker probably just started planning uh, the escape. Um, we found out this place was built by something Burke. I forget his first name. Burke guy. I built his first daughter originally, but then he uh, gave it to the Joker. Uh, out of the kindness of his own heart, but Joker, you know, basically took it and said, you know, I'm just gonna make this place, you know, a uh, murderous kind of place, you know, which is kind of mean on the Joker's part, but, you know. So, um, yeah, like I said, this game, uh, this, uh, this pack, I'll give it a 9 out of 10 in my uh, own personal rating, um, definitely. It, it was a great, uh, map. I'd love to be able to play as, uh, as Batwoman or Batgirl, yeah. You know, we don't, I don't think we were introduced to her as Batwoman yet, but you know, Batgirl. So, it was kind of interesting. I liked it. Um, you got to see a little bit of her connection with uh, Tim, which, you know, every time they talked and you saw them in the room together and they were talking to each other, you know, it was pretty interesting. You could tell Tim wanted to ask um, a ask her to marry him uh, a couple times. She kept saying, uh, Barb, uh, I want to tell you something. And he was like, is it going to wait? And, um... So yeah, I can tell like what was gonna happen there, but um, or he was gonna say I love you. One of the other, uh, one of the other. I think he's more like I love you because it doesn't seem like they want to get married until you know very very future. But um, yeah, like I said, this uh, great game, great gameplay, um, uh, great map overall, and uh, I liked it. All right, so nine out of ten, not bad rating. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.